another bombshell. 2020, just a few months ago, Christine Teal, Canadian researcher, and this is what they found. They looked at the difference in IQ of children who had been bottle fed in Florida communities compared to children who were bottle fed in non Floridated communities in Canada. The only difference was that both, all the kids were bottle fed. One had the parents who were using tap water, fluoridated tap water to make up the problem, and non fluoridated tap water. You wouldn't, well, you know, what, what kind of IQ drop would you expect? My God. Nine IQ points on the full scale IQ for each one milligram per liter increase in tap water. Nine IQ points. And then if you look at performance scale IQ, which is non-verbal, it's called performance scale, non-verbal. 19 IQ points. Mean, these numbers, most people would disbelieve that this study, and I'm sure they're trying now to destroy this study, but it is, it's a bombshell. So now we've got evidence that in, in the womb, the brain is damaged, and now, as an infant, it's, it's damaged. And here's the recommendation from the authors. After adjusting for fetal exposure, they adjusted for fetal exposure, so now we're looking separate from fetal We found that fluoride exposure during infancy predicts diminished nonverbal intelligence. In the absence of any benefit from fluoride consumption in the first six months, it is prudent to limit fluoride exposure by using non-fluoridated water or water with lower fluoride content as a formula. Needless to say, no agency in Canada, the United States, Australia, New Zealand or any fluoridated country has attempted to get this warning to parents about bottle feeding their kids. Meanwhile, they've not warned pregnant women that there's any problem. Now, this goes back to one of the first things I discovered when I was reading the literature in 1996 when my wife persuaded me to get involved in this, the level of fluoride in mother's milk is incredibly low. And I said at the time, my goodness, nature doesn't make many mistakes. If fluoride was necessary for baby's development, whether it's teeth, bones, or whatever, that's where you expect to find it. And you don't find it. It's very, very low. And so, I argue that mother's milk protects the infant from fluoride, and when you fluoridate, you remove that protection. The, the level in, uh, if you bottle feed, it's between 175, at, well, it depends where you fluoridate. Supposing you fluoridate at one part per million, it's 250 times higher. So we will, I've been saying that, you, you, you've heard my talk so many times. I've been saying this now for 20 odd years in my presentations. And now I'm, I'm talking to you just a couple of months after the study that we feared most has been published, that there's a dramatic difference on the IQ of the kids.